functions of flower as you know the main function of the flower is reproduction now how reproduction happens reproduction happens or reproduces flower reproduces by producing seeds if the seeds are being produced it means reproduction is there now how seeds are formed this is the question seeds are formed when the pollen grains transfer from anther to sigma okay anther is what it is the male part it is the male part and it is the female part when the pollen grains transfer from anther to sigma then seeds are formed okay and the transfer of pollen grains from anther to sigma that process is known as what the process is known as pollination it is very very important term it is very very important term what pollination is it is the transfer of pollen grains from anther to sigma that is known as pollination as you can see i'll show you in the picture that how it happens okay i have drawn the picture of this anther fine and it is attached to a filament fine and this is the male part then i have drawn this structure like this this is ovary and inside it is a ovule fine like this these are anther again i am drawing the little portion this is style and this was sigma right this upper one is sigma this one is style this one is anther this one is filament right this one is ovary and inside it is ovule fine now anther is producing what anthers are producing pollens when the pollens when the pollens from anther to sigma they are being transferred the process is known as pollination fine when it goes from male part to female part the seeds are formed fine now how this pollination happens for how these pollen grains transfer from anther to sigma these pollination it helps uh, it takes place with the help of insects some insects take the pollens from anther and take it to the stigma from stigma go through the style and it goes to the ovary uh, it goes to the ovary where ovule is there right and that it reproduces fine or it with the help of birds it uh, okay one thing more it should be clear to you that it is it uh, it is not uh, that true that nahi okay now one thing one thing more is there for you that the pollination that pollination can happen between the different type with the different flowers not with the same plant like uh, mai uh, nahi galat ho gaya yaar क्रॉसिनेशन कर now this pollination can also uh, take place with the help of birds also animals also with the help of wind and water okay so now we are having the two types of pollination one is self pollination and second one is cross pollination fine if the pollen if the pollen grains from the same flower uh, the anther is producing the pollen and from the same plant the they are transferred to the sigma sigma of that plant only then this type of pollination is self pollination fine means within itself okay so if the if the pollen grains from another plants okay so some plant is far away okay and with the help of wind the pollens are transferred to this this flower then it is known as cross pollination fine if it is within the same plant it 
is self pollination fine if it is between the two different plants then it is known as cross pollination okay the next part of the plant is fruits now that you know that are the delicious and the eatable part of the plant that is fruit now how fruits are produced when the pollination is there after pollination the ovary it changes into a fruit fine the, this we have done that from anther from anther pollination is there okay so when pollination is there the pollen grains they transfer to the ovary fine the pollen grains they transfer to the ovary and this ovary changes into fruits fine find the examples of fruits you know many examples of fruits cherries apple watermelon and also you can see the seeds inside them fine and what the function of seed is when the seeds they whenever we buried the seed in the soil or it falls by mistake and they develop into a new baby plant fine new baby plant is formed with the help of seed this is all about chapter getting to know plants